fifty. So fifteen and four were the numbers at the time we have discussed in morning. Okay. See fourth now. See the fourth now. Friend. So in fifth question, which question you are not able to do? Fourth question is fine. Fourth you are not able to. Any more questions? In fifth question, which part you are not able to solve? Okay. So fourth I am taking. See four fifth fourth. Okay. Fifth fourth. Six a square. Six a square minus nineteen a plus. How much it is? Twenty ten. Ten. Okay. This is given. It means product must be how much? Six into ten. Ten into six. Six to ten. We can say sum must be minus nineteen. Sum must be not minus nineteen. This is there. Plus is there. Okay, one minute. Plus is there. So this must be there. Okay. Sorry for that. This is the question. Six a square plus nineteen a plus ten. Product must be sixty. And sum must be 19. So both the numbers are positive. Both the numbers are positive. Okay. So we have to find those two numbers. Product is 16 and sum is 19. 19. Okay. So if you factorize them, it will be how? 2 into 3 into 2 into 5. These will be the factors of this. Okay. Now group them. So it can be 2. Five is a fifteen thirty. Their sum is not nineteen. It means group them more. Two two is a four three is a twelve twelve into five still no rest. Five is a fifteen fifteen and four. So which numbers we are getting? Fifteen four is a sixty. Fifteen plus four nineteen. So this one will go away. So six a square plus fifteen a plus four a plus ten. So what is common? Three a. Three a will take outside. What will remain inside? Two a plus five. Here two is common. Two a plus five. Now in these two terms, what is common? Two a plus five. Take two a plus five outside. Two a Plus five. What will remain? Three a plus two. Three a plus two will remain. Understood? Is this question clear? Yes, this sir. Clear? Okay. Sixth first. You can do sixth second. Let's discuss sixth second. Okay. Sixth second. Let's discuss fifth second. Three x square minus ten x. Three x square minus ten x. Three x square minus ten x plus eight. Okay. So what must be the product? Eight into three. Three into eight you can write. Okay. So it will be how much? Twenty four. So factorize it three into Two into two into two. This will be the factors. Okay. What must be the sum? Sum equal to minus ten. Sum equal to minus ten. Product is positive. Sum is negative. It means what kind of numbers we have? Product of two negative numbers is positive. Negative. And their sum will have the negative. Okay. So find those two numbers now. Sum six is minus six and four. You are getting okay. So six and four, or four and six, you can take. So six and four we have taken. Okay. Minus six into minus four, twenty-four. Minus six plus minus four, minus ten. Okay. So three x square minus six x minus four x minus eight. Okay. Factorize. Uh, take the common out. Group them. Group of first two terms, group of last two terms. So what is common in first two terms? Three x, x minus two. What is common here? Minus two is common. Take minus two outside. Two 
2x and here. Okay, 4 is common, one minute. Minus 4 is common, x. One minute, x minus 2. This will be there. 4x plus 8. So minus 4 we have taken outside, x. And here, minus 2 will be there. Now what is common between first and these two terms? x minus 2 is common. We take this out. And what is remaining? Cx minus 4. Okay. Cx minus 4. Have you all understood? Yes, okay. sir. Now try next one once. Okay. I'll start doing afterwards. Try it once. Seventh first, you try once. Seventh first. Everyone try seventh first. Down first, you try. Everyone try seven first. Eight m square plus ten m minus three. Seven first, eight m square. Plus 10m minus 3. 10m minus 3. This is given. It means product must be how much? Product should be minus 3 into 8. Minus 3 into 8, that is minus 24. Okay. Minus. So factorize it. 3, 2 into 2 into 2. Okay. Minus sign we are keeping it as such. Okay. Sum must be how much? 10. 10. Sum must be 10. So see here, product is negative, product is negative, sum is positive. What does it mean? If product is negative, it means one number is positive, other number is negative, okay? Since sum is 10, it means which number is bigger? Positive number is bigger, okay? Sum is 10, it means positive number is bigger and negative number is smaller. Have you all understood this one? Positive number is bigger and negative number is smaller. Okay. Find those two numbers. So how we can take 3 and 8? Is it possible? One we are taking negative, other is positive we have to take. So is it possible? No. Check again. 6 and 4. Minus 6 plus 6 and minus 4. Again not possible. 3 to the 6 is to the 12. 12 and minus 2. Check them because bigger number we have to take positive and smaller number we have to take negative. Okay. So 12 into minus 2, minus 24. 12 plus minus 2, it is only 10. 10 we are getting. So these are the two numbers we have to take. So plus 12 and minus 2. So 8m square plus 12m minus 2m minus 3. Take common out. What is common? First two terms. We are doing grouping now. Four terms we have. We can group four. these two. We can group. 4m is common. Okay. 2m, 2m plus 3. Minus is common outside. 2m plus 3. Okay. Now what is common in them? 2m plus 3. 2m plus 3. And here 4m. 4m. Minus 4m minus 1, okay? 4m minus 1. This is clear? I will under, understood. So see, after completion of this chapter, we'll start special products and expansion as well, okay? Third chapter. C and factorization, 4C and 4D are not in syllabus, but we can put them, okay? We have time, we already have, we are in second term syllabus. So we will be covering most of the syllabus, okay? Whether it's in syllabus or not, okay? So special products and expansion will as well cover. And see, if we cover them now, it will help you in ninth and 10th class. These chapters are very important algebraic, algebra chapter. So algebra will be completing the whole unit, okay? The whole unit will complete. Third part will be, uh, fifth linear equation in, in equations will be covering in third part third semester, that is in your third term, okay?
so now they are not in syllabus but still it's good if we cover them okay and it may be possible you may get in examination as well okay since we are covering okay this is clear have you understood try next one try next one this question this part is very important whole algebra part is there in 9 and 10th as well okay try next one and after that special products will start quadrilateral okay try next one everyone try next one find the two numbers factorize them and find the two numbers Seven second five t square plus seven t minus six five t square plus seven t minus six seven always t you make it like this plus and t they are different t is this way plus t minus six okay so product should be how much. Minus six into into five. That is minus thirty. So you can write it like this: minus four times we forget two into three into five. These are the factors, and sum is how much? Seven. It means you are having two numbers. Product is negative. It means one is positive, other is negative. And which one is bigger? Sum is seven. It means positive number is bigger. Positive number is bigger. Find those two numbers. Sir, ten and three. Okay, ten and three, six and five. We won't get two five is your ten and three, which should be positive number. Ten. Ten and three must six. be negative. Okay, complete it now. Five t square plus ten t minus three t minus six. Cal, take the common right. out. See a four terms we have. Even number of terms are there. Now group them. Two two groups we can make. Five t is common. T plus, t plus, t plus two. two minus three is common. T, t plus two. Okay. T plus two. Now one term, second term. T plus two is common. T minus. And two. here, here, five, five t, t minus three. Have you all understood? Okay. Anyone in class who want to get the notebook checked? Please do raise your hand, or else you can get it checked tomorrow or day after tomorrow till Saturday your time. Okay, but get it checked by Friday. Saturday may not be possible, so get it checked by Friday. Okay, and see here if you have skipped one or two chapters is fine. Get the remaining chapter checked. Okay, is this clear? If you have skipped your your uncompleted few portion, just tell me that portion you haven't completed. At least check, get checked the rest of it. Afterwards, when you complete, get it checked by me. The remaining one on, okay? Okay. Try next. So all have completed some first and second. Okay. For one minute, try next one. I I won't be doing. Try it once. Okay. Are you able to do the next one? It first you try. Everyone try it first. Everyone, start trying it first. Sir, some we have to take one minus one. It first. Some you have to take minus one. Yes or no? It's minus x. So sum will be minus one, and product will be minus fifteen into six. Okay. Find those two numbers. So next is six x square, six x square minus x minus fifteen. Okay, it means product must be how much? Minus fifteen into six. Okay, and minus some, ninety. Minus ninety. That's fine. There is no need of if you don't want to write because we don't require it. We don't require it. This we require. Okay, some must be how much? Minus. It is minus one into x. Minus one. So product C here. Factorize it. 
3 into 5 into 2 into 3. It's fine. We can do it here. Okay. Minus 1. It means we are having two numbers. Since product is negative, it means one is positive, other one is negative. Sum is negative, which one must be greater? It means negative number negative. must be greater. This must be greater. Okay. Now try to find 15 and 6 won't work. 15 and 6 won't work. Go with next. 5 to your 10 and 9. Minus 10 and 9. So see here, which should be greater? Negative number. Minus 10 plus 9. Understood? Minus 10 plus 9. Those two numbers we need. Okay, now solve it. 6x square minus 10x plus 9x. As well, you can see here. Minus 10x plus 9x minus x. Minus 15. Okay. Now, how many terms? Earlier we are having three, now four. So we can group them in two. Two terms, two yes. terms. So two x is common. What will remain? Three x three minus, minus five. Minus five. Okay. What is common? Three. Three x minus five. Okay. Now we have one term, second term. What is common? Three x minus five and 2x plus three. plus 3. Is this clear to all? Okay, try second one. I'll start doing afterwards. Try second one. Everyone try second one. Everyone try second one. So I'm only writing the question here first. Okay. Twelve x square minus nineteen x minus ten minus nineteen x minus ten. This is our equation. Okay. Okay. Factorize it. Okay. Fact first. What should be the product? Product should be how much? Minus 10 into 12 ish must be the product, or you can say minus 120. This is not required. Okay, factorize it 2 into 5 into 2 into 2 into 3. Okay, sum must be minus 19. It means we are having two numbers. Positive and negative. Then only we have the negative sign in product. Now, which should be bigger? Sum is minus 19. Negative minus number negative. should be bigger. Okay. So, which are two numbers? Check it. 10 and 12? No. 8 and 15? No. 8 and 15. Okay. 10, 12. 8, 15, or what we can have? 4, 3, 12. 4, 3, 12. 10, 10, we already took. Huh? Okay. What else? See here. 2, 3. 2, 2, 4, 2, 8, 8, 3, 24, 24 and 5. 24 and 5. Okay. Other more combinations you may have. Okay. So see here 24 and 5. If we take the difference, you are getting minus 19. So which should be bigger? 24 minus 24 plus, plus 5. Minus 24 and plus 5, it will be? Yes, sir. Minus 24 into plus 5, we'll get minus 120. And okay. So 12x square. So middle term, we are going to write it as. Minus 24x plus 5x. You can see 19x only we are getting. Minus 19x we are getting. Minus 10. Okay. Now, how many terms are there? Four terms are there. So we can group them. Two, two terms. Okay. Terms which are having common. So first and second, third and fourth. 
What is combined first and second? Well, x x minus two. What is common here? Five x minus two. Now one term, second term. What is common? X minus two and twelve x plus five. Have you all understood this? If yes, then try next one. Everyone try next one. Ninth question you try. Ninth question you try. Ninth question you try. Little trick is there. Okay, no trick, but. Okay. In these two variables. Two variables are there, x and y. Okay. So I'm writing the question first. X square plus five x y plus four y square. Is this the question? Plus four y square. So see here, it is having two variables. Okay. Okay, so this equation, if we consider C here, x square then x, x is equal zero, or y square y, y is equal zero. So it's similar like that. If we consider y as constant, then it will be equation in what? X square plus five y into x plus four, four y square. That will be like this. Okay, so here as well we proceed the same way. X square x four. Okay. So product and sum. Okay. So product must be how much? If you are taking x square x y. So four into one. It, that must be the product. Okay. Four into one. We are getting four. What should be sum? Five. Five should be sum. So find two numbers. Both will be positive. One plus. See here, both can be positive, both can be negative. Since sum is positive, it means positive, positive. We have to take product of two positive number is positive. Product of two negative numbers is negative. So either we can have both the negative numbers, both the positive numbers. But sum is positive. It means both numbers has to be positive. So four and one, four into one, four, four plus one, five. So x square plus four xy plus xy. You can. Inward, I think you can write first x y, then four x y is fine. Four y square. Take common between these two. What is the common? X. X is common. X plus four y. What is common here? Y. Y is x plus four y. Now in these two terms, what is common? X plus four y. X plus four y. And x plus y. And x plus y. Okay. Try next one, everyone. Try next. Twelve a square minus nineteen ab plus seven b square. So again, same way. A square a a is equal zero. Or b square b b is equal zero. Okay. Try it same. So let me write the question first. Twelve a square minus nineteen a b minus nineteen a b plus seven b square plus seven b square. This is there. Okay. Try it once. Try it once, and I'll start. Okay. Sum is. Sum is how much? Seven into. Okay. Product. First product. Product. What is the product? Twelve into seven. Okay. Seven into twelve or twelve into seven. Okay. Eighty-four it is, but there is no need. We don't require it. 
it means 7 into 2 into 2 into 3. This is there. Okay, sum minus, minus. 9. So again, we will be having two numbers. See here, so product is positive. It means both should be positive or both should be negative. But sum is negative, it means both the numbers are negative. Both the numbers are negative. Okay. Now so find them. The answer is in question only. 12 and minus 7. 12. Minus 12, minus 7, or minus 7 or minus 12. Okay. Easily you know it. Okay, so 12 a square minus 12 a b minus 7 a b plus 7 b square. Okay, now we are having four terms 1, 2, 3, 4. Take common between two terms, take common between two terms. Okay, what is common here? 12, 12 a. a common. Now what will remain here? A minus, minus B. B. What is common here? Minus sign. 7B. Minus 7B. See a minus 7B we are taking outside. A will be here. Plus will become minus because okay. minus we are taking. So minus minus is are there. One minus okay. will remain and minus B. Okay. What is common between these two terms? A minus B. 12A minus 7. 12A. Minus 7B. 12A minus 7B. Is this clear? Have you all understood? Yes, sir. Have you all understood? Okay. Everyone have understood? Okay. Try next one. Just see the question and see and give me what can we do with that? How we can solve that one? You don't have to solve, just see it. Okay. So we have in question 5x plus 2, 5x plus 2, the whole square, plus 6x plus 2, x plus 2, and plus 1. Last time what we had? 5x square plus 6x plus 1. Okay. Now what we are going to do? Substitution. We are going to do substitution. Can you see the trinomial? 5 into something square plus 6 into something. Okay. So let x plus 2 equal to a or you can take y also. So the equation will be what? 5a square plus 6a plus 1. Now solve it. Everyone solve it. So at last we will get factors in terms of a and then we again put a equal to x plus 2. Solve it everyone. Solve it. Everyone solve it. So sum of product must be how much? 6, 5. Product must be 5 and sum must be 6. You can easily get the numbers. Both are five. positive. 5 and 1. Okay. So 5a square plus 5a plus a plus 1. What is common? 5a. 5a. A, a plus, a one. plus 1. Plus a, a plus, plus 1. a plus 1 out and 5a five. Five plus 1. Should we stop here or something more we have to do? See your question is in x. But also we are having A. Or for example, we have taken X plus 2 equal to Buffalo. So answer would have been Buffalo. Our answer would have been Buffalo, but we require an X. Okay. So what we'll do? We'll put A equal to X plus 2 back here. So A equal to X, A equal to X plus 2. We'll put. Put in A equal to X plus 2. So it will be X plus 2 plus 1. 5 into X plus 2 plus 1. Okay, it will be how much? X plus 3 X plus and here 5x plus 10 plus 1. So x plus 3 and 5x plus 11. 11. This will be the answer. Okay, this will be the answer. Okay, by substitution you are doing. Okay, or else there is one more way. What you are going to do? Open the bracket, expand it. Open the bracket, expand it. Then 
collect all the x square terms at one place. X terms at one place, one. So all the x square terms you can add, like terms. All the x terms you can add, and one you okay. Then you can solve. You will get the same answer. Okay. Understood. That's other way. But here we can simply take x plus two equal to a. Okay. Try next one. How we are going to next one? Next one we do, and you are over. Our chapter will be over. So let's complete that one as well. So the equation is two into m plus two n the whole square plus five into m plus two n n plus two plus two. Is this clear? Okay. So m plus two n we can take it as let m plus two n equal to a. Now solve everyone. Solve it. So equation will be reduced to two a square plus five a plus two. Okay. Product must be how much? Two into two. Sum must be how much? Five. Four plus one. What should be four? Plus two. Okay. So product must be four. Four and one they will be. Four and one, or one and four you can say. So it will be two a square plus four a plus a plus two. Now solve it. Everyone solve them. So what common we should take? Two a. What will remain? A plus two plus a plus two. So a plus two and two a plus one. Okay. Now we have to put back putting a equal to m plus two n. Put there. What we are going to get? M plus 2n plus 2, and here 2 into m plus 2n plus 1. So it will be m plus 2n plus 2, and here 2m plus 4n plus 1. Have you all understood? These are the factors. See here, equation in terms of yes, sir. Variables m and n factors as well. This is one factor. This is one factor. Okay. So if we divide this equation by m plus 2n plus 2. Remainder is going to be zero, and quotient is going to become this side. Okay, have you understood? Similarly, we do the numbers. If we say twelve, two is a factor of this one. It means if we divide it by two, we get what? Remainder zero. Similarly, this expression, if we divide by this one, we are going to get the quotient as this one, and zero as the remainder. Since these are factors. Okay, so with this we complete the chapter. Okay, next time we start special products and expansions. Okay, so have you all understood this one? Okay, so you have to do one thing these days: start studying those all chapters. Second time, second part examination, you all have. Any doubt you have, do ask in class. Okay. So start studying those chapters. If you face any doubt, do ask in class. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Okay.